All right, I finally got my sandpaper all straightened out. Oh, I like that. That's going to be real convenient. And now I'm starting work on uh, Sandy's knife for her husband, Alan. I've got enough steel for three more knives if I'm careful. I'll have to order more steel. But uh, I've got to draw it out. I use die chem. This is uh, stuff that I brush on there, let it dry, and then I put my pattern on, and I trace around it with my scratch all, and this is what we end up with. And then I take that and I put it on my bandsaw, and uh, I come up with this. Now, this is the easy part right now. Now the hard work starts. Now I gotta put it on my belt grinder, shape it all up, uh, get my, my little air dye drum sanders out and clean these up. And then uh, drill my pin holes. Then mount this to my jig and grind my bevels. Heat treat it, temper it. And somewhere in the middle of all that, I uh, cut my handles out and uh, get them rough, roughly shaped. But uh, this is the start of it right here. Okay, I got it shaped on my belt grinder. And uh, I have it smoothed off on my other belt grinder. <laughs> now I gotta put it in my vise and take my drum sander and clean up the in inside curves. And uh, I go all the way around the knife and I remove the sanding, the grinding marks. And uh, it'll look real shiny by the time I'm done with it. And then I drill my holes, mount it to my jig, and grind the bevel on. Noise alert. put this on my drill press. First I gotta um, measure measure for my uh, pinholes. And what I do is I take a pair of calipers, I mark them out this way, one, two, three, and then I mark them in the center. So that's next. Alright, I got my pinholes marked. Now I got it in the drill press and uh,
And there we go. Now I come back to the little bench and I deburr, <clears throat> I deburr these holes with this here. But uh, I got to get my hand drill out and I do both sides. Those burrs will all be cleaned up here in a second. All right, I've got it deburred. Now, I uh, trace a handle out somewhere really cool with some nice uh, figure. That's really nice there. I think I'm going to trace that out right there. And uh, I have some purple heart that I would like to use as the liner, but I'm not going to use this until I contact uh, Sandy and ask her what she thinks. This is uh, purple heart of some beautiful, beautiful wood. And uh, I haven't used Purple Heart liners. Now, I do have Walnut. I can use Walnut. But uh, I'd like to go with this Purple Heart on this Spalted. I think it would look really nice. But uh, I'm going to take a picture of this and send it to Sandy first. And uh, see what she thinks. In the meantime, I can put this on my jig and start grinding the bevels. But right now, it's almost noon. I'm going to go in and uh, get ready to do the drawing video for my neck knife giveaway. <coughs> Excuse me. It's still thundering, lightning. We just had a hell of a rainstorm come through here. Soaking wet. Thanks, UPS. <clears throat> All right, no cracks. That's, that's a positive. Let me sit down, I'll tell you. This thing here, getting this, has just been uh, a mind-boggling experience. Now, I have two. It's a long story, and I probably already told it to you in another clip that's maybe uploading right now. But, this was supposed to have been here last week. It didn't show up, it didn't show up, it didn't show up. I went and I checked the tracking, and it said, Customer refused return to sender called UPS and after trying to understand uh, badly spoken English with a heavy accent I finally hung up I mean not rudely I said okay I'll handle this another way have a nice day thanks goodbye called Amazon they couldn't get anywhere with UPS so they sent me another one and uh, <laughs> it was supposed to have been here yesterday There's, they felt so bad about this they said they would pay for the next day air so I track it and track it and track it and it doesn't show up so I called Amazon again and they said well we show that it's on its way it's on the truck you should have it that was yesterday no delivery wasn't on the truck uh, late last night I get a message saying your item has shipped okay that great last night it shipped so there's no way I could have got it yesterday today I come home pouring rain and uh, it was left my $500 sander and the other one that I'm not even supposed to have out at the end of my driveway in the rain along with this but this can't get hurt from water and uh, my sanding belts and uh, what else oh uh, this little light that I ordered was sitting out there just I mean absolutely mind-boggling this entire thing so this is the least beat to hell of all the box of both the boxes. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna inspect it. If it's okay, I'm gonna call them and tell them what the heck you want me to do with this other one, because uh, you know I'm not gonna be dishonest. Anyway, well, let's get this open finally. All right, I'm fixing to crank it up. But before I do that, I wanted to show you I found a place. Dino's Hardwoods. 
where you can get good, really good wood. This is lace wood. This is zebra wood. This is sapel, sapelli, and uh, it's in the mahogany family. That is going to make some really nice knife handles. It's uh, two by two, and uh, I'll be able to slice this down the middle. Zebra wood. Yeah, I'll get uh, a lot of knife handles out of that. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I'll get eight out of this. Each one of these, I'll get eight. I like the lace wood. Very nice figure. All right, let's go. This is uh, not bad. Nothing inside was wet. And uh, I don't have the tables or anything on it yet. And I'm not going to put them on right away. But uh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm not even going to put the table here. All I'm going to use this for is slack belting my handle. So I'm going to take this backing off and the reason this is better than the others because there's so much distance between here and the bottom pulley you have a lot of slack and turning that you can really get into the contours of the handle better and uh, this is much much better suited to uh, what I'm going to use it for than uh, 1x30 and I already found somebody that wants a 1x30 and they're going to trade me a really nice piece of black textured leather Oh, jeez. And uh, I'm thinking of doing a uh, breast cancer awareness knife and having an auction. And I think I'm going to do a Lady Diva with this black leather I'll be getting with uh, sewn together with pink thread. And uh, if I can find some pink mosaic pins, I'll use them. Anyway, this is just a thought. And. Uh, so anyway, I've got my belt sander. Hallelujah. Dear God. So, that's it for now, I guess. I uh, gotta get to work on that knife there. And first, I gotta pet my dog. Don't I? Don't you need some pettings? So when we last talked about my sanding belts, I told you what I ordered and that they sent the wrong crap and uh, after spending about an hour tracking down my uh, new belt sander I had to spend about another 20 minutes talking to them about sending me the wrong belts and uh, they apologized and they're gonna make it right and they shipped some more stuff right out and what did they send me the exact same shit I do not believe it Man, I have just been snake bit with this damn sander. I'm just uh, totally, totally mind boggled. And uh, now I've got a, a whole nother $450 belt sander sitting on my back porch waiting for UPS to come pick it up. And uh, the box has been beat to hell and it's soaking wet. So, today's another day. It's... Uh, all about five in the morning and I'm fixing to get started I'm gonna put my belt sander together and then I'm gonna go in here and uh, grind the bevel on Sandy and Allen's knife okay I've got the uh, handles with the uh, walnut veneer epoxied together and I got my pins cut Got the knife mounted to the jig and now we're fixing to go in there and uh, see how my new plastic table works uh, I have ordered you know those some of y'all will at the bottom of washers washing machines and sometimes at the bottom of uh, refrigerators they have these adjustment bolts that help you adjust the refrigerator or the washing machine to be level well, on the bottom of those bolts, they usually have Teflon, so they'll slide across the floor. And I ordered a couple of those, 3 eighths, 
and uh, it will have a Teflon foot on it. And thanks to uh, somebody who mentioned that in the comments, I can't remember your name right now, but uh, that was a good idea. I did a little search, Teflon, uh, Teflon bolts is what I started with, and I ended up with those. Uh, so we'll see. I, I'm not sure if it'll work because they, it, it, I'll make it work. I'll figure something out. But anyway, we're getting there. But right now I'm fixing to put a bevel on this knife. Okay, let me get the glare off of this. I think that, there we go. Now, I got a really nice bevel on that. Let's see if I can show you the, there we go. Now I take, uh, I grind this bevel with 80 grit. And uh, now I take some 100 grit and I sand all the grinding marks out of this. And that is where the real elbow grease comes in. And uh, it's probably going to take me most of the day to get this sanded down to a degree that I can put it on my uh, buffers over there. Well, I tell you, I sure do like the uh, the new sandpaper dresser <laughs> shiffer robe. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I'm going to get started. See you this afternoon. Alright, that's down to uh, 100. I've got all the grinding lines sanded out. That's just 100 though. Uh, I have to go to 180 next, and then 220, then 320, and then 4 and 6. And it uh, takes about an hour rubbing. This thing is hot just from my hand sanding it. So uh, now I'm going to turn it over and uh, sand this side down to 100. That's what it started. That's what it looked like to begin with. That's what it looks like now. Now I'm going to do that side down to 100. And then on this side I'll start the 180 and then flip it and do 180. But uh, I'm fixing to go get a cup of coffee and pet my dog. Hey dog. Mein kleiner Hund. Willst du gehen mit mir for coffee? Mein Hund. Alright, I got both sides sanded down to uh, 180. Now I'm fixing to move up to 220. Alright, that is 600. Well, let me show you the difference between 600 and 400. I'm fixing to hit this side with, with a 600, but let me show you that again. That's 400. That's 600. Isn't that amazing? The difference between two very, very fine, already fine grits. All right, hit this with 600, and then over to the buffer. All right. That is the preliminary buffing. Now, the sad thing is, I got to heat treat this. And uh, makes it all black and gunky and nasty. Well, you have to buff this before you heat treat it, or else you just can't buff it. So, uh, and I've buffed this the very first grade, there's four, and I've buffed this out the first stage, I guess you'd say. Now I got to heat treat it, and then I go back to the buffer, buff all the funk off of it, and then I buff out all four stages. And then tonight, I'll get the handles, well, maybe not. I still got a lot to do yet before I get to that. But I do have the handles uh, glued together right there. And uh, I might get to it. I'm going to uh, work work on this tomorrow too. Tomorrow's Sunday. And then Monday i got to be in Texas. So uh, whatever I get done tomorrow, I, I will have this. I will have the handles on this, pinned and epoxied, and uh, in these grips tomorrow. And uh, when I come back from Texas, probably Wednesday, 
I'll uh, start shaping the handle. It's uh, we're going somewhere. I like my new buffer. Worked great. <clears throat> All right, I heat treated it. It is now tempered. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna let it cool. Then I'm gonna clean it up again. And uh, it's it'll be five five o'clock by the time I get it all cleaned up. Maybe later. Yeah, it'll be five five thirty. And uh, I've had a long day, and it's pretty warm in here. So tomorrow morning I will come out and uh, pin and epoxy these handles on. And uh, when I get back from Texas, I'll start shaping the handles. We're not that far away. The end of next week, I should be shipping it. All right, it is four in the morning, and uh, we're gonna clean this up today. We're gonna drink our coffee first, clean it up, get those uh, handles out of there, and uh, get them drilled, and epoxy them onto this with the fancy pins in there. There are the fancy pins back there, but. Uh, First, we're going to drink our coffee. And uh, that's actually all I'm going to be able to do on this today is get the handles on. And uh, Wednesday, I'll get back on this. I should have this uh, handle sanded. And the true oil started Wednesday. Wednesday night, I'll probably start the sheath. It's getting there. All right, there's a peek at it before I tape it all up. Now I, I uh, tape it up to protect the edge while I'm, to protect the shine while I'm working on this here. So I'm going to tape that up. I'm going to get them out and uh, go to drilling, pinning, and epoxying, and uh, see you Wednesday. Okay, we're glued, we're pinned, and uh, this is Sunday. And I think it'll be Wednesday, maybe Tuesday afternoon before I can get back on this. But we're, uh, we're getting there. Man, that is going to look so nice. This side has more figure than this side. And you never know until you open up a piece of wood what it's going to look like inside. So uh, let me get my drum sander out <laughs> and uh, get to work. I'm going to clean these up, the, the back side, the spine, and then, uh, then the hand sanding starts. Boy, that's going to be a pretty, pretty handle. Beautiful. I love that wood. And this is the wood that Dwayne gave me that came from his oak tree in his own yard. Uh, and uh, it sat there, you know, like eight foot long. It sat there for a couple of years, which is what spalted wood is. Boy. All right, let me get started. I'll have this, uh, I'll have the true oil on this tonight. First coat, maybe two. Uh, I'll send uh, Sandy a picture. All right, I'm happy with that. Looks good, it feels good in your hand. Now I'm fixing to go in and uh, put some true oil on it. I'll show you what that looks like after I get two or three coats on it. All right, I like it. I like the effect. And uh, the name come out good. I practiced on this before I committed to a, a sheath. Although I have a, you know, I have plenty of leather. If I screwed it up, I could do it over. But uh, that came out good. I like it. And that's what it'll look like uh, before I stamped the name and then I did the shark skin around it. And this time I did the shark skin the whole thing and then I stamped the name into it and I think it looks better. All right, let me uh, get back to work. Now I got a skive from about here down, taper it down so when I fold it over it'll lay flat.
and uh, all right, it's looking good. I like it. I'll show you what I got as I go. I'm liking that color. Yep, I really like that effect, the shark skin effect. All right, I'll let that dry. Uh, then I got to punch holes in it and sew it. And then uh, close it up with this in the middle. And uh, let that dry. And then uh, drill my holes to sew it. I gotta let this dry for about 30 minutes so it'll won't move when I'm sewing it. And then I'm gonna sew that and do this the web and put that together. And uh, I'll have this done in a couple hours. I gotta tell you, this is uh, the nicest sheath I've made so far. I really, really like how that came out. It takes two hands to pull this sheath out, this knife out of the sheath. But uh, and here's here's how you do it, just in case anybody ever buys a knife from me. When this is brand new, it takes a whole lot of putting this thing in and out to loosen it up. So you squeeze it like this, squeeze it, and then pull the knife out. And uh, over time, it'll loosen up and it'll slide in and out real easy but uh, let me get it out and show you the knife this is spalted oak with walnut liner mosaic pins highly polished and uh, I have not put the edge on this or the final buff yet and that is actually what I'm doing next and this is Sunday, so uh, this will be ready to get put in the mail tomorrow. Pretty wood, huh? Alright, this is Sandy's and Allen's. I guess you figured, you probably guessed that's Allen's. <laughs> So uh, now, uh, if anybody orders a knife, you can have this shark skin effect, and uh, I can stamp anything you like. Uh, you know, I can't stamp any more than that, but uh, I bought, bought some stamps just for this, and now that I have them, I can put your name on it if you like. Okay, uh, I'm not going to bother uh, showing you the, the edge, and it's shiny enough where one more good buffing on it will make it look like a mirror but I put the edge on it and then I buff it and then I put it in the sheath and I box it up and mail it so uh, thanks for watching uh, this was a long video and I don't know that I'm going to uh, do a video on every one that I make but Sandy wanted one a video so she could uh, show her husband after she gives the knife to him so that's why I did it thanks for watching y'all and uh, Alan, enjoy your knife.